Awesome. As we get settled here, fellas, I know you're ready. Again, give, give Gatorade some, uh, Powerade some. Oh, what we learn? The three claps. Give them some. Give your parents some. Got you out here today to meet the man. I tell you, uh, doing these camps, you get an opportunity to meet a lot of uh, a lot of pros, a lot of superstars. But I was never more excited when I got the call to come here uh, because I tell you, as a coach at IU, a coach at college, uh, it's impressive to watch a kid play the game the way it's supposed to be played. And I know it's one of the reasons I was geek, not only watching his first at bat, but continuously watching this guy sit in the hotel room last night. Whether he hits it back to the pitcher or whether he hits it off the wall in right center field, he's running it out like he's got a double. Uh, you know, stats speak for themselves, but the great thing about it is, is my 14-year-old's over here, he's five years older than you. You guys have the opportunity to be where he's at in five years. And I know Bryce will tell you it's through hard work. He's been working his tail off since he was five, probably younger than that. He's been doing everything his coach is telling him to. Working his tail, not only travel, travel ball all-stars, I mean his stats, his resume speaks for themselves. He's been an All-American at virtually every level he's played at. Um, one of the things that stands out to me is uh, in today's day and age in the college world, they talk about the bats and the transition that they made from the minus fives to the minus threes and the BB four. But when you hear his numbers of what he did at his, at his Duco, at his college, it wasn't with an aluminum bat.